Well, hello there, cigar chaps and uh, cigar enthusiasts and malt drinkers and uh, beer drinkers who may be some of my new fans. Uh, welcome back for another cigar review. Um, I know you guys have been eagerly anticipating this, and uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, have had a lot of things going on that have been keeping me busy in my personal life, but I am here again to satisfy the masses with my third review. Uh, of a cigar, and I decided to go with something special, uh, something a little higher scale, something that some of the connoisseurs will enjoy. Some of you are maybe, you know, seeing my ratings and thinking, eh, he hasn't gone higher than an, uh, an 87, which I believe was Highland Park. And uh, let's, you know, let's see what's on the higher end of the spectrum. Alright guys, let's introduce you to some of the more, uh, shall we say, aficionado cigars. Alright, today's review is a tube cigar, which I'll tell you about in a minute, and it is a Macanudo Maduro. I hope you can see that uh, I am using a spotlight in this video and a lot of effects, so I'm really trying to improve my quality here. Hopefully uh, my pal Ralphie will appreciate that. Um, and so that's a Macanudo Maduro, as you can clearly see. Now this is a tube cigar. Uh, these tubes keep it fresher. I bought this weeks ago. Still pretty fresh. Um, it has gone a little stale, which is to be expected, of course. It's best to smoke it within a week of when you buy it, but the tube keeps it fresh longer, and it degrades much, much slower. I've heard of these tubes sealed properly, uh, keeping cigars in good condition for years. So then, let's go ahead and crack this baby open. And, um, you know, I, I, as is custom, I usually do tell you a bit about uh, this cigar brand, um, Macanudo. Now, I have a little bit of personal experience with the cigar is one of the probably one of the first cigars I tried actually bought for myself, and um, I don't remember if that was a Maduro or just a, a basic Hampton or Cord or whatever, but um, uh, it was a Macanudo. It was a very good price. It was a very good quality cigar. I was really impressed by it. Um, Macanudo, they're known for making good cigars, handmade. Says so right here. Sorry, let me don't block that with my hand, but as you can see, it says it's a handmade cigar. And uh, on the other side, it also says handmade, and on the front it says Macanudo Maduro. And that is all I can tell you, because I don't know where this is made, I don't know what's in the binder, I don't know what's in the filler. All I know is that Macanudo cigars are known for being uh, good quality at a good price. So hopefully uh, some of my fellow cigar enthusiasts, and I know I'm starting to get a lot more viewers, uh, my first cigar review has gone over 250 views, and I'm sure it will not be long before it hits 1,000. So, here's to it. Let's start cigar review number three, Macanudo Maduro. By the way, price point, just to let you know before we get started, um, I, I overpaid for this cigar, and I feel kind of shitty about that because I've been smoking a long time, and I hate to overpay. Uh, it was at a gas station, and there was no other cigar shops in town. I really wanted a cigar, so I thought, yeah, whatever, I'll splurge. Ten dollars. Mm, that's expensive. You don't want to go over 725 for this cigar. 850 is pushing it. If someone's selling a Magnum Nobu for 850, it, it's probably at a high class restaurant. Your cigar shop, please don't pay more than 725 for this cigar at a cigar shop. Maybe eight dollars depending on what state you live in. Ten overpriced. But that's because I bought it at a gas station. Always buy at a reputable cigar smoke shop. Alright then. Before we light it up. I will give you the nose. It has faded a little bit, unfortunately, from being in the tube, but um, I will do my best to uh, give you a nose on this. It's a little windy out here, so I'll try and give you my nose. Oh, it still has a great nose, despite being kept in that case for a couple weeks. It's rich, earthy, spicy tobacco. It's fruity. It's smoky. This is great. I'm, I mean, wow, you, you usually don't get a nose off a cigar just that good. The last two cigars I smoked don't even come close to the nose on this one. It's got it's got that dried chewing tobacco. If you've ever had chewing tobacco, it's got that dried chewing tobacco flavor. A little bit, a little bit of the sour kind of staleness that comes with a cigar that's been kept for a while, but definitely not off-putting. This is still a good cigar smoke. Spicy, earthy, woody, oaky. There's just one more note I want to pick up, if you just give me one second. 
It's like walking into a musty old attic. That's the last note I'll give you on that. Now then, uh, let me have a sip of water here before I light this up. <sighs> Cleanse my palate. Now then, um, here comes the little bit of the risky part of this review. I only have, or I mean, I don't have any matches for, um, for lighting this. I do, however, have a butane lighter with very, very little fuel left. In fact, I'm going to show you how much fuel is left in this butane lighter. Wait, let me get this in your view. That's how much fuel is left. I know you can see that very small amount of fuel left in this butane lighter. So I'm going to uh, give it one shot trying to light it outside. If that doesn't work, I'm going to quickly run inside, light it up, come back out here. Uh, so there will be a cut if that's the case. Here we go. I'm going to have to light this inside. Please hold. Oh, hold on. Uh, sorry about the little jump cut there, but as you know, my torch lighter was very low in fuel and it was just too damn windy. Uh, nevertheless... We got this baby going, and it is a pleasurable, pleasurable, pleasurable smoke. Here's about how far I've got off of it. Let me uh, ash it so you can see the embers. I know you guys. So I know I know a lot of you guys watch this just because you like to see guys smoke cigars, and I completely respect that. Um, I am doing these as reviews, so you know for the people I give ratings. But uh, if you just like to see a guy smoke a cigar, nothing wrong with that. Mm. The immediate arrival for the first half, remember I always do these in two parts, the immediate arrival for the first half is so mild, it's just great. This is what, this is what a Maduro should be. Mild, light, slightly bitter, just slightly bitter with, with, with a tobacco bitterness. And then, as you sustain it, give me, let me give you a chance after that initial light beautiful tobacco oaky arrival. Then the spices start to come forward. First you get maybe like, you know, not, not your sweet spices, but more like the... Hmm. I don't know if I can exactly put a put a note on this spice because I know it's some kind of spice that I've tasted before. I can't remember what it is. Then you also get a little bit of uh, I'm sorry. This is a very complex cigar, so this review is going to run a little long uh, just for the first part. cloves. It's, I, I mean, call me crazy here, but it's clove spice, and then it turns into this woody kind of wood spice. I know you find wood spice a lot in cigars. Well, this starts with that beautiful clove spice, as I said, then turns into this woody spice, and it's like a treasure chest of old earth and wood. I'm, I really got to give props to Macadudo. They did an excellent job on this cigar. Look, I'm, I've been smoking this thing, and I haven't even had to spit yet, because the flavors aren't overpowering. This isn't a knock your teeth out cigar. This is a nice, mild, gentle smoke. What a cigar should be. What a guy likes to kick back after a long day. You know, I don't know about you, but I had a lot of things to do today. Uh, I'm a student, so I had a lot of classes today. And I'm sure you other guys have jobs. You other guys have, uh, you know, other expectations. You know, maybe you're going to college like I am. Whatever they are, afterwards you like to come home and you like to relax. And whatever your method of choice is, you have to enjoy it. And this is a very relaxing smoke. Mm. Just rich, good quality tobacco. 
you know, no, no buts, you know, no metaphors needed for this. It's just rich, good quality tobacco. That's the flavor that persists throughout the beginning of this cigar. And that rich quality tobacco is going to do really, really good. And um, I'm going to go ahead and make a noting of what I'm going to rate the first half of the cigar. Um, I'm not going to tell you yet because you'll have to watch the second half. Because what I do is I rate the first half of the cigar. And then um, what I like to do is rate the sweet spot, which is from about right here, uh, right just a little in front of the label, about to the end of the cigar. So I come back and do a second part for the sweet spot, rate that, give you an average, give you the overall review. So um, let me go ahead and cleanse my palate here. Excuse me. Wonderful progression from a mild tobacco to spice. Clove and cinnamon spice. So it can be a little strong if you inhale it too much, so take it easy on this one. It's a mild one. It deserves to be smoked gently, slowly, enjoyably. Ah, uh, and that's a little bit of leather, sandalwood, more of that spice, peppery, a little bit of bitto espresso coming through. This cigar really is starting to press progress. I'm going to have to make this a little longer. Part A is going to have to be a little longer. Uh, I've recently been upgraded my account so I can go over 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it under 15 minutes, but this cigar deserves that much time. But don't fret, the second half will be much shorter. I'll limit myself to, uh, let's say, 10 minutes on that one. Bring the ash. Always important to ash. Man, this, this is just really what a cigar should taste like. You know, nothing off-putting. I mean, nothing too off-putting. Every cigar has its flaws, obviously. Not not every cigar gets 100 out of 100. What cigar gets 100? I think the best rating Cigar Aficionado ever gave was 99, and that was like some signature series Patron or something like that. Patron, sorry. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just giving this a rating based on what I've smoked. Progressing nicely. Um, I'm about to wrap this video up. As we smoked a decent amount, and I'll just kind of describe to you the uh, overall middle flavors. Rivals mild tobacco. Very, uh, I mean, slightly earthy. A uh, little bit tropical uh, ve vegetation kind of notes. I think palm leaves or something like that. Very mild. Slowly starts to become a little woody. Mm. There's that clove spice. It's beautiful. It's clove spice. But it's also Darjeeling tea and a little bit of like I want to say some other kind of strong spice, maybe cinnamon, maybe nutmeg, something like that. But but definitely, um, I did say uh, clove and uh, and Darjeeling tea. I'm going to stick by that. Not like not the drink Darjeeling tea, but if you've had the leaves, Darjeeling tea leaves, you smell it, 
there's there's a bit of aroma slash taste of that Darjeeling tea leaves in this. All right, well, I think that should uh, just about wrap up the flavors. That uh, last little section there should uh, give you a good summary of the uh, flavors that you'll find in the first half of the smoke. Here's what's left. Uh, let me go ahead and peel off the label, which, by the way, it doesn't matter. Or, I mean, um, it does matter when you do it. You don't want to uh, do it um, uh, too late. Okay, You want to peel it off. Some like to peel it off at the very beginning. Um, but you definitely want to peel it off once you start hitting around this part. 50%, 50% or less. Some say 35. I like to be 50 to be on the safe side because then the paper is going to start to influence the taste as the smoke goes through and the resins kind of adhere to that and the glue from the paper. You just, you know, less less of that. So um, there we go. I'll show you the label one last time. Okay. <sighs> Stay tuned for part two.